Hello everyone and welcome to Kill by Workshop. My name is AJ and today we are reviewing the Bamboo Lab Cool Plate Super Tack. Now we are going to be running a bunch of adhesion tests along with a some warping tests. Not just comparing it against itself but also the textured PEI plate. I don't have a spare one, they're both running. Okay, so I have this lizard dragon that I found on Maker World. I'm going to be using this as a bit of a baseline test for articulated prints. So we'll get this off the plate, switch on the super tack, and see how it goes. Alrighty. So we have the Flexi Baby Dragon Lizard from Orange SS over on Make World. I've got it prepped, sliced. Just gonna switch this to no broom and re-slice. And it is on the Super Tack plate, so we will be able to measure it because I have all of my printers on smart plugs with energy monitoring. So we can check. So we can go print plate. We can see, yep, yeah, that's there. We don't need the time lapse and send. All righty. So. It's been on here for a bit and it is well and truly stuck to this plate. But give it a little bit of a flex. Sometimes you do need to flex a few times, but it'll eventually come off no issues. So for the adhesion test, I switched over to the X1 Carbon because I wanted to see at what point the test could fail. Alrighty, now that the Nowhere Stair Torture test has been completed, it looks like it's printed the full test. And only a slight tap was enough to pop it off the plate. Now let's test with the textured PEI sheet from Bebu Lab. Alrighty, so the test on the textured PEI sheet is done. It's just finished up. Again, slight tap and it was enough to dislodge it. So overall, both plates pretty much had the same amount of adhesion. Both of them ran completely, had, had no real issues. On to the next test. So overall, the Cool Plate Super Tack is a decent option if you want to save some electricity. So now is as great a time as any to point out that both my printers are running on smart plugs with energy monitoring built in. So I can monitor just how much electricity is used by both printers. Now, on the X1 Carbon, there was a bit of a difference between using the cool plate and the textured PEI. Because more often than not, I run my SuperTac plate with no heating. The only exception has been the warping test. But otherwise, the standard Bamboo Lab setting is at 45 degrees. So it still heats the bed a little, but it's not 55 like it would be on the X1 or 65 on the A1. Now, overall, it was a fairly minimal energy difference. So, 
take that as you will, but overall the adhesion was good, warping was so and so, but overall I've used this plate several times and I'm going to continue to use this plate where needed. Just don't use it on articulated prints. So I've got a articulated Aqua Dragon at the moment and it'll take a while to come off these super tack plates. Alrighty, so here is the Wolperone test. And by the look of it, no warping at all on the PEI sheet. Okay, now here's the SuperTac plate with the Wolperone, and by the look of it, again, it looks like no warping, but we'll just quickly get it off the plate. Oh, there was some warping. Interesting. Might have to run again, but this time with the normal settings. Here we go again, this time using the normal settings of a 45 degree bed. It does appear that there was some slight warping on the left hand side. Right hand side looks okay, but let's pop it off and get a closer look. Okay, so a little bit of warping on the left hand side and you can kind of, it's pretty obvious. Right hand side, a little more subtle, but there was definitely some warping there. So something to worth keeping an eye on. One extra tidbit, the Coolplay SuperTac does not play well with Bamboo Lab Silk Filament. If you attempt to slice a file using the Cool Plate Super Tack as the build plate and Bamboo Lab Silk Filament, Bamboo Studio will throw an error. And in the end, it normally involves a change out of the build plate to either a textured PEI or even my BQ Glacier plate. Overall, just avoid it. At least if you are doing bamboo silks. I have tried this with other silks and had no real issue. Other than some increased adhesion. Overall, is the Bamboo Lab Cool Plate Super Tack a good build plate to use but if for a cold plate? Answer is yes, but how does it compare against, say, a BQ Cryo Grip plate? Well, that's for another video. On that note, I'll see you next time.